Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of PTV of the school year. I am Mr. Starkey making a rare host appearance. Uh, we'll get kids in here starting next week. But for now, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's Hagstrom. I'm your dean. If we haven't had a chance to meet yet, I hope we do in the near future. I'm super happy to be here at Dunstan this year, and I just got a couple quick things we need to make sure we all understand and do so that Dunstan can be the best place it can be. Number one is masks. Nobody is loving the mask thing, as far as I know. But Jefferson County Public Health has said we all need to wear them in all schools across all of Jeffco. And at Dunstan, that means every one of us, everywhere, every day, has to have one. And not only that, but we have to make sure that we wear it correctly. So, I need your help with this. You can have a mask that looks like mine, with two loops over the ears. You can have one that goes up, your, uh, you know, straps go up over your head. It can be paper, it can be um, fabric, whatever works for you, but it has to fit properly. And by that I mean it has to cover your nose. Thank you, Simba, for being a lovely, lovely example. There you go, he's, he's with me. Um, Simba's going to help us figure out how to wear the mask correctly. So, here he is. He's got his nose here. He's got his mouth here. It has to cover Simba's entire nose and mouth. Oh, sorry Simba. I know you don't like that. Try to get it out of your eyes. There we go. Alright, it's got to cover your nose and mouth. Now, if you're not able to keep it up like Simba is, you have to pull it up above your nose enough that you can pinch it tight. And then Simba and you get to start looking a little like a rhinoceros. Check that out. A little rhino horn going there. Alright. The other way that you can help yourself with that is by taking the straps and crossing them over before you put them on the ear. So again, you've got your strap here, maybe it's a little loose, this keeps falling. Just cross it before you put it over your ear. And then, it should stay a little bit tighter across your mouth and nose. You have to cover your nose and mouth because that's the whole point of a mask. We want to keep all of the droplets and air and everything from reaching other people so we don't get anybody sick. Thank you for that. Lunchtime, we've got to have you wearing them every single time you are not sitting in your seat. So if you're getting lunch, you're getting ready to go outside, you're throwing away your trash, even if it's just up to do it real quick, you've got to make sure that you've got your mask on, please. Before school, a little bit of disagreement about that for the first few days, but we're going to clarify right now, when you're outside before school, you don't have to wear one until we ask you to get ready to come inside. So about a minute before we come inside, we're going to say, hey, time for masks. Everybody put them on, that makes it really easy to come in and um, get our day started. If you don't have one, especially before school, we're gonna have them right at the door. We have them at lunch. They're in the main office. And many of your teachers also have them. So if you find yourself without one or it breaks, ask for another one real quick, all right? And that's masks. First day of school, very, very exciting. I was up late last night figuring out a new plan. Here it is, fear. <laughs> I need a list of all the possible negative outcomes on the first day at a new school. Way ahead of you there. Does anyone know how to spell meteor? Disgust. Make sure Riley stands out today, but also blends in. When I'm through, Riley will look so good, the other kids will look at their own outfits and barf. Joy. Yes, Joy? You'll be in charge of the console, keeping Riley happy all day long. And may I add, I love your dress, it's adorable. Oh, this old thing? Thank you so much. I love the way it twirls. <laughs> Train of thought, right on schedule. <laughs> Anger, unload the daydreams. I ordered extra in case things get slow in class. Might come in handy if this new school is full of boring, useless classes, which it probably will be. Oh, sadness. I have a super important job just for you. Really? Mm-hmm. Follow me. What are you doing? And there. Perfect. This is the circle of sadness. Your job is to make sure that all the sadness stays inside of it. Hello, Patriots. It's Hagstrom again, coming to you as a Patriot. Check out my awesome hat. And I just wanted to say a few quick things about lockers this time. This is my lovely locker. I've opened it with a combination by Monday. What we need for you to have is the ability to open your locker, keep all your stuff in it, and then make sure that you close it. So Monday is the deadline for you to be making sure that your backpacks, bags, Hats, phones, everything stays in your locker. Please make sure that you've got that ready for Monday. Because after that, if you're still having trouble, you and I will put some time aside to make sure that you can do that right. So here I am, I just arrived at school. I'm gonna put my bag in here. I'm gonna put my phone in here. 
And I'm gonna put my hat in here, even though it's super styling and I'd look awesome with it. All right, I'm ready to rock and roll. I've got my Chromebook for the day, ready to go to my classes. Here I go. Oh, but wait, we got a huge problem right here. See how these straps are sticking out? Make sure that when you, every time you close your locker, everything is pushed back behind these parts on the side so that nothing jams your locker. That's been a big deal for some people. All right, so I'm ready to go to class. Everything's in my locker. See you in class. Hi everyone, Mr. Zarki here with a quick announcement concerning yearbook. Yearbook is gonna start today right after school from about 2.20 to about three o'clock. Uh, today is gonna be just a regular informational meeting, all voluntary. It is open for all grades six, seven, and eight. Your book's a lot of fun. It's an opportunity to build it from scratch. You design the, the cover, uh, you design all the pages, you take the photos, you edit them together. It's all on you, okay? Um, if you're interested, it's gonna be today. The At least the first informational meeting will be this afternoon, right after school from 2.20 to three. And then from there, it's gonna be pretty much every Monday's kind of from there. So if you wanna join, come to my room right after school today, A201, and find out what your book's all about. Hope to see you there. Hi Dunstan, it's Mrs. Kincaid here. And I'm Miss Lopez. And we're the leaders of our Gender Sexuality Alliance, which is our GSA club after school. GSA will run on Thursdays after school starting September 9th. And it is for allies of the LGBTQ plus community and for members of the LGBTQ plus community. We'll be meeting in the art room upstairs right before the G Hall after school from 2.20 to 3, again, that's September 9th. Hope to see you there. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Have a very wonderful week, Dustin Patriots.